Hi friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about play kase. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. One of the most important procedures in virology is measuring the virus titer. Virus titer means that the concentration of virus in a sample. Widely used uh, approach for determining the quantity of infectious virus is the play kase. And this technique uh, was first developed to calculate the titers of bac uh, bacteriophage stocks. Renato de Balco uh, modified this procedure in 1952 for use in animal virology and it has since been used for reliable determination of virus titers. To perform the plague assay, 10-fold serial dilutions of uh, virus stocks are prepared and uh, 0.1 ml of alicots are inoculated into susceptible cell monolayers. After an incubation period, to allow the virus to attach to cell, the monolayers are covered with a nutrient medium containing a substance and uh, that causes the formation of gel. Recently, uh, liquid substances are also used. Uh, when the plates are uh, incubated, the original infected cells release viral progeny and the spread of new virus is restricted to the neighboring cells by the gel or the medium used. The consequently, each infectious particle produces a circular zone of uh, infected cells called as the plague. Eventually, the plague becomes uh, large enough to be visible to the naked eye. And uh, there are dyes that can be used to stain uh, living cells are often used to enhance the contrast between the living cells and the plagues. Only virus that cause visible damage of cells can be assayed in this way. The titer of the virus stock can be calculated in uh, plague forming units per ml. And uh, to determine the virus titer, plagues are counted. To minimize the error, only plates containing between 10 to 100 plates are uh, counted depending on the size of the cell culture plates that is used. So each dilution is plated in duplicate to enhance the accuracy. So let's see an example here. Uh, so before going the, to that, uh, let's see the calculation, how to calculate PFU per ml. The number of H per ml of stock is equal to the number of plates into dilution factor divided by the volume plated. For example, a phase stock uh, is uh, 100 fold serially diluted 4 times and 0.1 ml of the fourth dilution is plated on a lawn of susceptible bacterial cells. After incubating the plate overnight, 180 plates are counted. So what will be the titer of the phase stock? So how do you calculate this thing? So we know the dilution factor. It is a 100 fold dilution that is done 4 times. So the dilution factor becomes 10 to the power 8 and the number of plagues counted are 180. So the titer of the phage stock uh, will be 1.8 into 10 to the power 11 PFU per ml. Hope you are clear with this topic. If you like the video, please press the like button and share it with your friends. Thank you.